What's up everyone, Ronnie Cruz here with Path of the Network Marketer 365 day video challenge where I bring you a fresh new video every day chronicling my journey as I teach myself how to leverage social media to build my network marketing business. We are on, actually I have no idea what day it is um, as while I'm recording this, um, well into the 30s. And so for this particular video, I wanted to go over and kind of rehash what I've learned thus far. I mean, we're, we're 30 days into this journey. There's Kylo Ren, he's leaving us. Um, we're 30 days into this journey, and so I thought uh, this would be a good time, well, 30 plus days into this journey, and I thought this would be a good time to share with you guys um, what I've learned thus far, some of the, some of the biggest takeaways um, that I've learned um, as I've done this 365 day video journey. So um, we're just, yeah, we're just gonna count them, not, not really count them down, but there's five tips or five things, five key lessons that I want to share with you guys in today's video. So number one, number one, I think uh, is pretty obvious. You guys have heard me talk about this in past videos, past episodes, and that is document, don't create, document, don't create um, for a, a couple of reasons. Number one, sustainability, right? Sustainability. I think one of the um, uh, most intimidating things about starting a video journey like this or to even just get on social media and and produce content um, consistently is like having to come up with stuff to talk about having to come up with content and and have that uh, be sustainable right like be like being able to put out and produce content on a regular basis so that your um, social media uh, publishing is consistent is uh, is uh, coming out on a regular basis and so when you, we if we think about it from like man i got to create all this stuff from scratch and i have to come up with new ideas and and this and this while you know we can maybe have a handful of great ideas um to do that in the long term and to do it consistently especially every day um it it becomes very very overwhelming right it becomes overwhelming and so that tip from uh Gary V that i heard from um, uh, Russell Brunson <laughs> is doc document don't create right so uh, you know as you guys have seen I think in this particular um, playlist on my 365 day journey a lot of my videos predominantly are me documenting what I'm learning documenting and sharing with you guys my journey thus far uh, as I teach myself how to leverage social media so document don't create um, is a really really important one for sustainability uh, the other thing is too is that it take like because it takes the pressure off then it's one less barrier for you to get started it's it, like one of the things one of the biggest issues it, well when you start any kind of new journey or you know you new undertaking especially social media something that you're not used to your unconscious mind your old identity your brain is going to come up with a million and one excuses why not to start right and creating content is a big reason why not to start. Again, it can be overwhelming to, to think that, oh my God, I have to create something new every day um, and sometimes multiple times a day in order to keep this, in order to, to create a presence online. And really, like again, that's not that's not 100% true. All, if you focus on documenting, then, then that pressure is taken off of you of having to create from out of nowhere, right? From, from inspiration, <laughs> having to create um, material. So document your journey, I think is, is really, really important to getting you started. Because again, it's all about getting started and it's all about staying consistent, right? Those are the two main things that, that document don't create really, really helps with. Um, more tips on that and in terms of, in terms of documentation and, and sharing your journey, uh, that, that warrants its own video. But the main thing is get started Focus on documenting your journey versus creating, and then that will allow you the consistency for you to persist and then create um, a following, create a presence online, because you have to do it consistently enough, excuse me, in order to create that critical mass. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll move on to the next one. Number two, banking your content, banking your content. Um, what this means is, if you haven't seen the, the past videos, is record and produce your content ahead of time so that you have a bank of content to, to post. Um, and that way, you're not slogging through this every day. One of the things I've really started to realize is, you know, a video a day, sure, it becomes habit, but it's still a slog. 
it's still a slog like to do this every day um you know conceivably then if if i were to just do it on the day i'm never gonna have a day off and especially now that i've added tiktok with three tiktoks a day and then i'm gonna add um you know a podcast with one podcast a day that's a massive amount of content that i gotta produce every day and then never have a day off right never have a day off so banking content really allows you to get ahead of the game so that in the in the off chance or in in the instance where you do need to take a day off just take a breather take a church day whatever you need to do take a family day holiday go on i mean i was just on vacation for for uh, seven days in the dominican republic and i was shooting although i did want to shoot while i was down there because it's gorgeous um you know like I, i i had some videos banked ahead of time so that I didn't have to necessarily worry about publishing and getting it all edited and and doing that side of the work as well um, while I was on vacation. So banking really, really helps with this, guys. Creating your content um, ahead of time um, especially, especially as you, as you, you know, have ideas anyways, right? You want to get those down and, and record it as soon as you can. Um, and that way, again, the pressure is off of you to have to catch up, right? The last thing you want to do, um, especially from a sustainability standpoint, is always playing catch up, right? So, so banking content as well as, as well as document don't create really helps with sustainability. If you're going to, if you're going to publish consistently, if you're going to publish every day, if you're going to publish multiple times a day, bank your content. Now, as a, as a side note to this, and I, I may have mentioned this in a past video as well, be a prodigious note taker, right? Jot down your notes. If you have an idea, you may not be necessarily in a position to create that content or to produce that video, but write it down. Write down a sentence or two notes um, on your phone or whatever whatever you happen to have in order uh, uh, to take notes on, and that way you'll have a bank of ideas. So for me, I have a bank of ideas and topics that I want to talk about and also a bank of already produced content that's ready to go, that's ready to be published, okay? So Banking content, really, really important to sustainability. Moving right along, number three. So this is more of like mechanics and, and you know, tactics um, for specifically YouTube, especially, right? For, so for YouTube, video titles. I mean, like, I, and I don't know why I really didn't think of this before. <laughs> like, I was just, name, you know, naming my titles day 23 you know day 24 and if you'll notice if you go back to the 20s i stopped doing that because that's a completely unengaging title right um to help your click through rate right? when people see your video on their feed or whatever or they're scrolling through youtube it comes up uh, in in that in that youtube vortex that you get pulled into um if it, you the title of your video is one of the first things that that uh, that the viewers see and if your title doesn't grab them then your 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 click through rate is definitely going to suffer so you know try to grab people's attention with the title of your video right um uh you know again uh, you'll see that i've stopped numbering my ti- numbering my videos and my titles um because it's just like it doesn't make sense like and, and it takes up space so i have i, I am starting to uh, employ this particular tactic and and working on the titles of my um, of my videos in order to make them a little bit more attention grabbing, right? Attention grabbing. So that's number three. Pretty simple. Uh, sounds like a no brainer, but like I had, I didn't even think about it when I first started this uh, 365 day video journey. So, video titles make them grab attention. Number four. It's, it's, it kind of builds on the last one um, with the video titles, but the video thumbnails. That's another thing, like that's the other thing that, that, that your viewers are gonna see first, right? It's gonna be the first thing that they see of your video. And if it doesn't grab their attention, well, they're not gonna watch. <laughs> and then your click-through rate is gonna suffer. So what I, I used to do, as uh, uh, you guys can again, go back on the playlist and look at this, is that I used to um, put the title or you know whatever, whatever headline, you know, attention-grabbing headline across the, uh, the bottom of, of the, um, the thumbnail. And what I realized is uh, that the timestamp of the video was obscuring the, the title in the, in the thing. So, you know, you would look at the thumbnail of my videos from like, you know, 1 through 25 and you can't read them. <laughs> you can't read half of them, right? You can't read half of them. So that little tweak right there, uh, you know, I'm just putting um, the title in this, in this section, you know, in this side. And that way, that way people can actually read it, right? And, you know, my, my 
thumbnails aren't necessarily the most flashy and grabby, but like it doesn't matter because this is just a daily vlog for the most part. But now that at least they can they can see what's going on in the in the uh, in the thumbnail as opposed to it being obstructed by the timestamp. I know it seems it seems simple. It seems it seems like a no brainer, but. Again, with with the title and the thumbnail, you want to grab their attention, the viewer's attention, so that they actually click on the video, right? So that so that it, it creates their curiosity. I'm like, oh, let me check that out, um, and uh, and uh, I will watch the video. One of the one of the like really really great example of this that catches me every time. It catches me every time, and I can't remember the channel. I'll I'll look it up after I record this um, and post it on the uh, uh, share the share their channel on in the description of this video. But it's those two guys that that build those ridiculous like resort pool underground situations, <laughs> right? Those high end like resort pools, and they do it all by hand. You see those guys. Oh, I, I never fails when when I see one of their videos and I see the thumbnail. I click on it every time. I click on it every time because the, those those thumbnails for their videos are ridiculous. I mean, the things they're building are ridiculous. So inherently, the thumbnail is going to be amazing. But like, I can't help myself. And again, a large part because the thumbnail grabs my attention and I want to see what the heck it is that uh, that they're doing. Because then it's a combination of I see the thumbnail and it, it catches my attention. I read the headline two dudes build this by hand or whatever the title is and I'm there I'm in it I'm in it right away um, and I click and so those guys have a massive massive um, viewership they have a massive following um, and I'm sure I'm sure they get a, a, an incredible click-through rate because of these last two things so uh, number four video thumbnails are very important all right last one guys that I'm gonna share with you guys number five Video must be 10 minutes or more. It doesn't have to be, but that's a great rule of thumb, right? Um, if your video is at, le at least 10 minutes, YouTube will see that and they'll say, okay, this is a video that we can advertise, potentially advertise on. And so they're going to push it more. Um, longer videos, YouTube likes longer videos, 10, 10 minutes or more, because again, it, it's more real estate for them uh, to market with, right? And, and so whether or not you are monetizing your channel um, uh, uh, here on YouTube, you, you as much as possible make them 10 minutes at least right at least um of course for me like with the the vlog and the and the video a day it's not necessarily going to happen that way because like i don't have 10 minutes of things to talk about every day but on content situations like this where where the video is a little bit more structured a little bit more curated um uh, yeah i could easily talk for for 10 20 minutes right and so so you know every once in a while it, as you're creating these videos or if, if you're not even doing like a the, the the video day challenge. If you're doing one video a week, ten minute videos um, is is pretty sustainable. That's that's pretty doable, right? And so so keep that in the back of your mind. The the that that the algorithm will prefer a ten minute video um, or more uh, because there's more potential there for for advertising and revenue. So. Um, I know, really, really simple. And and you know the the videos that I've done before this, uh, you can see where I learned that. They're starting to get longer and longer. Most of my videos are in the early stages of this 365 day video challenge were like five minutes, six minutes, uh, you know, four minutes. Some of them were less than that. So, you know, and, you know, again, because that's a vlog, that's going to be a different situation. But I will I will very occasionally, um, you know, have a 10 minute more video. So that way, you know, you guys can find the channel. Uh, you guys can find this particular content, which is, I think, incredibly helpful. Um, and yeah, more discoverability, right? So those are the lessons, again, to, to kind of recap. Number one, document, don't create. Uh, number two, bank your content. Number three, um, make catchy video titles. Number four, make pretty video thumbnails. And number five, make your videos at least 10 minutes. Those are the five things, five biggest things that I've learned thus far. Uh, now that I'm 30 days into this 365 day video challenge where I bring you a fresh new video every day um, chronicling my adventures as I learn how to leverage social media to build my network marketing business. So hopefully that helps guys more to come. I'm going to be testing um, a lot more. Thi well, I'm going to be uh, continuing to test things and and uh, you know use some of these principles. There's a few other ones that I'll share with you guys um, later on. Um, but I want to test them first, um, which means I'm going to be doing videos outside of this 365 day video challenge. Um, I mean, I guess outside of the vlog situation, they're, 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 I, they'll still count towards one a day, I guess. <laughs> um, 
But, you know, uh, you know, I'm thinking of, of testing some videos with my network marketing company's products, see how those do and, and things like that. So I'm going to be running tests here in the next couple of weeks um, um, to see to see what gains traction and, and to see what works best. Also, that I can share that with you guys, share those tips and, and those ideas with you guys. So anyways, that's neither here nor there. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully uh, this uh, uh, video was helpful and you learned something. And if you did, click the subscribe, click the like. <laughs> yeah, follow us on this journey. Again, there's a, a video every day um, uh, for the next 300 or 30 days. I, I, you know, I don't know what the count is as of this video, but there's more coming. Um, and, and there's a fresh, fresh, uh, fresh new episode every day. So go ahead and subscribe and pass it on if you like it, right? Pass it on if you like it. At the very least, just come follow me on this journey and, and watch this train wreck as it, as it unfolds. <laughs> it's not a train wreck. I'm actually learning a lot. Um, so anyways, uh, that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one until then. Be well, be safe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.